when you or when when you show love to your neighbor. <laughs> Damn devil again. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Rufus from Kim Possible. Okay, and this here is Frank looking fine as ever. And then there is you. Then there's me, Rufus. Looking like Cat in the Hat a little bit. It's my own look. I have five hats on because this is our fifth podcast. Fifth of, podcast. Of Lent. And for Lent, every podcast, you're going to add another hat. Yes. That is your Lenten activity. Yes. Um, Have you gotten to the point where you start to realize that this may not be sustainable? Yes. Okay. <laughs> And also, we're not even, we're not even halfway in. I'm keeping balance. Halfway? No, I don't think we are halfway. No, I think we're I don't a quarter. Know, I don't even know if we're a quarter away. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not even. But. We'll see. We'll see. Soon you'll be out of frame. That'll be exciting. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep going up. I might have to go like. Oh, you could, you know, maybe wear them on different parts of your body. Well, yeah. Remember the bow situation yeah. we had at Christmas? Just start pinning them. Pin, yeah. Like, pinning them to yourself. I said I'm going to wear hats. I don't think I said it on my head. Do we have 20 hats in the house? Um, yeah, definitely. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll start to I know. start giving you mine. Okay, well, that's something. Um Yeah. Still haven't been on TikTok. It is it's getting easier as mm-hmm. the day goes by. Before we go any further, if you checked out yesterday's podcast or lack thereof, um had a few technical difficulties. Right. The devil had us by a stranglehold. Mm-hmm. They said, you gotta stop putting out all this good information. Right. It's too good. Yeah. People are listening, their ears are open, their right. hearts are welcoming. And you know what we said? We said, we're just going to go live. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you see us darting our eyes over. I know. That's what I was just checking while you were talking. I'm like, is it is it recording? It's okay. in pure panic that the devil might try to get us again. But we have to be on our, to keep our eyes we open. We think we outsmarted him <laughs> this time. So it was a live. If you were there, thank you. There was a few viewers who yeah. were writing in all messages received kindly. And um, for those of you who watched it after, uh, obviously not our... Not our, well, they our, missed your editing. You missed my because editing. you know you get you get you get um what's this word? You're relying reliant on you you popping up the little images and fact checking of things yeah. that we say. Yeah. But what can so you? So it, it was sort of a uh, rigmarole. Yeah. But we had fun. It opened the door for maybe to do lives in the future more purposefully. Yes. But this was an a accidental. It was a happy impromptu. Accident. It was impromptu. Like Bob Ross. Too says, bad it wasn't a Tuesday. It could be impromptu Tuesday. Oh. Like Bob Ross says, it was a happy accident. There's no mistakes. But, all right, now continuing. It is... March 10th. March 10th. My favorite day of the year. Did you know that? March? 10th. No, it is not. So Tomorrow it is. is your favorite day of the year. Um, But you know what? Today is Extra Meat Thursday. Oh, where? I made it up. Oh, to... Wh- to counteract... To m- more meat. Fish Friday. Okay. Right? Now, it's... It's like a weekly Fat Tuesday before ash wednesday double up your meat lovers that, pizza today that okay. okay so you said meat lovers pizza i did what chain is that from oh there was an original it still is happening meat lovers isn't just the no. name oh that's trademarked mm-hmm. but we say it for any kind of meat we, love we do say it for every kind okay <clears throat> i'm gonna say uh is it a classic pizza chain? Yes. Okay. I I'm, only have the classic. I'm pizza. torn between Pizza Hut and Papa John's. It's going to be one of the PPs. You're going to have to pick. I'm going to say Meat Lovers Pizza Hut. Yes. <laughs> yes. No fact check needed when you're a genius. No no fact check needed. Um, pizza Hut has Meat Lovers. Domino's has the Meatza. M-E-A-T-Z-Z-A. Meatza uh, Feast. That's what you do when someone already took Meat, uh, meat Lovers. Yes. Yeah. Papa John's has the meats. You want a pizza? Make it the meats. But I find that that should... Isn't that Arby's Arby's. Thing? Arby's. We have the meats. But I saw it was for Papa John's and Little Caesars is the meat treat. <laughs> Sounds like a dog thing. That's because they were the last ones to Little pick. Little Caesars, and like, you know. And It's hot and ready. Just come in and it. Grab looks it looks to me... Is chicken meat? It's poultry. Because when I look at what's on these things, it's always the same. Pepperoni, sausage, ham, bacon, seasoned pork, and beef. And it and each one of the things that we just mentioned, bacon, did I say that? Um, there's never chicken. But I figure, like, that's a meat. Why isn't Light. it on there? No, a chicken has to be, because you say, what kind of chicken do you want? Light meat or dark meat? Yeah. But they don't put they don't put chicken meat 
on the meat pizzas. No, because I think they're talking about red meat. But no, because sausage isn't even... Pork is the other white meat. Yeah, but sausage is on it. I know. And it's bacon as well. Huh. But, um, but, so yeah, it's a thing. Extra meat Thursday. If you eat enough meat today, then you won't be wanting it tomorrow. Of course, this goes against the whole concept of, <laughs> you know, restricting yourself. But does not Mardi Gras slash exactly. Fat Tuesday. As Christians, we believe in workarounds and loopholes. And it's so funny because I'm a vegetarian, so I don't even know why. Oh. I care. You should. You know what you should do for Lent? <laughs> what? Have meat every Thursday. Oh, no. <laughs> but but I do believe Pizza Hut. No, I, Friday, I meant. I do believe Pizza Hut is doing Beyond Meat now. A lot of... KFC. When I saw KFC was doing uh, the Impossible Meat or whatever. Right. And Burger King as well. The mm-hmm. Impossible Whopper. Um, good for them. Yeah. You know? Hey. Uh, let, let's be... In- uh, inclusive. Inclusive. Let's be inclusive. I'm working on the whole inclusive exclusive. Can't, why thing. can't you just think like welcome into the house, you know, or like X, get out. X in inclusive. Yeah. In X inclusive. <laughs> Cause I think My head. But also exclusive feels like cause you're in it. So it's like when it's exclusive, it's like I'm in. It. I'm in an exclusive. I know. Club. See, that's the weird thing because we use the word exclusive to mean like I'm in. No, like it's something good. Like yeah. it's an exclusive it's offer. Exclusive. But if you say I've been excluded, that's not good. That's not good. I've, it's not. An, I've been excluded in this offer. Right. Huh. Words. Yeah. So that. So I don't know other kind of um extra meat you can have today. Like I'm guessing like those type of uh, Big Mac. I want to say is that have extra double patty. Some yeah, but I feel like all that kind of stuff. More like the double quarter pounder. Okay. Which well, I don't know why they don't just call it a half pounder. Oh. Yeah. I don't know either. It's because it's two quarter pound Cheese patties. Cheese steaks. And also half pounder doesn't sound as appetizing. You can even get double meat at um Subway. Can I just get a whole pounder? A pounder. I believe that is a, you know, a street term for like a large sized beer. Oh. Um, the cans ones, I mean. I also pounder. noticed on one of those pizza... um. Um, on one of those pizza descriptions, it said something about poundage. <laughs> now I'm going to crack up. Um, but it was referring to the meat and the cheese in combination. And I was like, well, what I learned, that's not telling the whole story. Yeah, well, what I learned is people weighed the quarter pounders at McDonald's. People weighed everything. People weighed, people measured the foot long. At they did. Subway. Mm-hmm. They, they weighed it. Oh, it's not a quarter pound. And then McDonald's was like, you're weighing it when it was already cooked. Like, yeah, it's a quarter pound Pre, patty. They think they it. say that pre something weight. Um, and for the meat lovers, pizza, uh, pizza hut, not that it's a pizza episode, but, um, meat lovers, they also have like other categories like veggie lovers and stuff like that. And right now, I cheese think, lovers, cheese lovers. Yeah. And I think right now is a, is a limited time offer of spicy lovers or something like that. Oh, <laughs> spicy lovers. I don't, spicy know, I don't lovers. know if that's what it's called, <laughs> but like it's all the peppery stuff. So like it'll have uh, the jalapenos and hot sauce. Yeah. Something like that. Chili peppers. Mm-hmm. Chili flakes. I don't know if this can stay on the whole show. I'm feeling very, very wiggly. <laughs> Whoa. You're getting top heavy. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a boat. Um, all right. Well, it's March 10th. Let's get into it. It's okay. something. It's a, you know, what's crazy. What? I don't know who's distributing the holidays on what day. Mm-hmm. There's so many flipping holidays today. Today only. I couldn't even, I couldn't even oh. like, uh, remember all of them right. you might have to pull out my handy dandy notebook okay but the ones we can remember harriet tubman day harriet tubman big fan harriet tubman had a strong connection to philadelphia did she she did uh she made her way to the city in 1849 after did escaping she... slavery in maryland but did she go back down of course and um oh, i just meant like was that the last trip no or i was think like... She escaped. That's where she was going. Yeah, was she Maryland escaped slavery. She was a Maryland Philly, slave. Maryland. Escaped. There was some slavery in Maryland? Yeah, well, the Mason-Dixon line is where right, is that? right through Maryland. Oh. Mm-hmm. Huh. Or is it Delaware? No, it's Maryland. Okay. Yeah. Um, she would use the Underground Railroad network mm-hmm. of homes and churches in Philadelphia to help free about 70 enslaved people um, from Maryland. But, of course, she helped so many people but anyway the reason i bring that up is because there's a nine foot statue right now outside of city hall and it's called uh freedom in philadelphia philadelphia journey to freedom it's only going to be there till the end of march oh yeah i guess it's a traveling statue 
I saw the permanent statue, which is in Bristol, PA. Okay. Um. So when they first said the Harriet Tubman statue, I was like, oh, I saw that. No, this is a different statue in Philadelphia for a limited time only. Interesting. Did you see the movie? No. I didn't either. No. My brother saw it. And yeah. And he's a big fan. He's he doesn't even have a shirt. Yeah. He's a Harriet Tubman he's shirt. He's a big fan. Um, but yeah, so shout out Harry Tubman Day. <clears throat> we can all strive. Remember yesterday's podcast, which you may or may not have seen was a live one. We talked about imitation. Imitation. But, um, we, you know, we spent a lot of time on Jesus, obviously, is like the ultimate person to right. emulate and imitate. But there, like some real world examples, if we were to use one, would be you know, people like Harriet Tubman, which right. like to the like she was became free herself. Yes. And then she's like the pure selfless love of putting herself in harm's way over and over again to help other people. Right. So those are the kind of people we want to imitate. I'm going to run through some of that. You can stop me if you have some interesting to say, because there is a lot. National Pack Your Lunch Day. Got a, I don't think I've ever really packed a lunch unless there was a field trip. Field trip. <laughs> um, histo- and even then, even then, that was a Wawa bag of a yeah. of a hoagie. Histo Technolo- Technology Professionals Day. Like Roll history. Yeah. Or histamine. H i t s s o. I don't know. I think what it is is like Spelling day. is like uh, it, it's lumping together all kinds of archaeologists okay. and like anyone who uses technology mm-hmm. for history. Mm-hmm. International Bagpipe Day. Um, fun fact. I... <laughs> <laughs> I used to uh, get a bagpipe lesson. You did. Lessons. You did take bagpipe le- bagpipe lessons. International Day of Awesomeness. I don't like it. I don't like it either. <laughs> like who 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 made that? Who signed that off? I'm I don't like, know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have what it takes to be awesome? Today's your day to shine. Mm. Do you have what it takes to be awesome? Like, come on. I don't like it. Mario Day. Like from the show. From oh, the you game? know why it's Mario Day? This is actually kind of cool. Awesome. What? Because he's awesome. I don't know. M A R one zero. If you see it written, it's easier to understand. Oh, March tenth. M A R. That's really good. Yeah, I like that. That's really good. Name tag day. Don't know why. Name tag day. National Blueberry Popover Day. No, so, it's not. It's not blueberry season, is it? But it's a it's a delicacy. Blueberry mm-hmm. popovers. Okay. National Landline Telephone Day. Don't know how much longer that one's going to stay I around. Know. National Ranch Day. When you, you when you eat your wings, do you? Go oh, blue- I thought you meant the place. No, when you eat your wings, blue cheese or ranch? I am a vegetarian. When you eat your vegan wings, blue ranch. Wings. Yeah, big ranch fan. <laughs> a lot of people are. A lot of people go go blue cheese. I don't like kind of blue cheese much. Anything. Uh paper money day. Paper money like Once a monopoly. Again, no, paper money landlines. So these are all going to be gone in ten years. I know. I had a I had a valet the other day and uh, nothing to tip with, and I felt so. Upset. Isn't that the worst? Mm-hmm. It's like. I almost wish, and I, I won't even see it as a cash grab because I won't. It's not me. If like on like valet stations and like a uh, pick or a tow, tr- it happened to me with a tow truck. Like, have just a Venmo on like the side, but yeah, I, some I, people do have that on I, lunch trucks. But um, I want trucks s- is like they're expecting to be paid. It's like the people that aren't expecting to be paid, but it's like you still want to pay them. I just want to say something quick I about want valet. To cash on me. That I'm now that I'm talking about valet very quickly. The man who worked at valet parking, yeah. I wasn't using valet, but I was walking by and I heard him saying to the person who pulled up, do you want valet oh, really? parking? And the person in the car was like, like what? And there's like, do you want valet parking? And I'm thinking, I would never judge someone because who cares? Obviously, it's a weird way to spell something. But if you work there, you yeah. think it would have come up yeah. that it, it's pronounced yeah. valet. How long could you work at Home Depot calling it Home Depot? Like, yeah, right. So. Yeah, it's weird. Um. Maybe it was his first day. Popcorn Lover's Day. You love popcorn? You ate popcorn, yes. It was caramel was corn. I love caramel today? corn. World Kidney Day. Let's start taking better care of your kidneys right here and now. Oh, yeah. Gotta love kidneys. Our mailman gave his kidney to his brother. An organ so nice, you had to get it twice. And also my friend, um, her her son's, um, I was going to say switched kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> one gave and one received. Yeah. Givers and takers. Um. Well, guys, that's all the ho- that's a lot of holidays in one day, it's, isn't it? It's too many. Well, it's okay. Everyone can celebrate. And guess what? You can be awesome doing it. National Awesomeness Day. I thought we didn't like it. We don't like it. But guys, it's not about holidays. It is about holidays. This is a holiday podcast, and you know it. We know it. What are we fooling ourselves for? But it is also <laughs> something else. It is Thursday. Mm-hmm. My favorite day of the week. You wondered why I said that today, uh, March 10th. It's because it falls on a Thursday this year. Okay. So that's why I have to love it. Yeah. <laughs> On Thursday, we have something called Walk, Walk Through. through. You got to do this. 
Thursday. Roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. What is up, guys? It is walk through Thursday. Just the greatest thing since sliced bread. Yeah. Before since her landlines. Un- before her untimely death. Um. Uh, Betty White. Yeah. Real old, real great. A uh, national treasure, yeah. if you will. Uh, not to be confused with the film by starring Nicolas Cage. Yeah, national treasure. Um, and you, we, someone like looked up her age, or when the year she was born, and then the year like automatic bread slicers, uh-huh. like bread was being sliced, and it was like two years after her. After her? Yeah. Oh, so, funny. so and the, the caption said, um, "Sliced bread is the greatest thing since Betty White." Oh, that is good. Rest in peace, Betty. It is walk through Thursday. And it is our favorite day of the week. What we do, what do we do? We open up the Bible mm-hmm. right there. Once the Bible's open, we pick a verse. Mm-hmm. We find There's so many verses in the Bible. I think you, you tend to forget how big the Bible really is. Yeah. If ever you try to take the leap and say, I'm going to read it, you are quickly realize that's a lot to read. Right. And so how could possibly in one sitting or anything, can you get it all in? You can't. No. And so what we're here today. Is pick out a random verse. Put a little ranch on it and enjoy. (laughs) And digest it. And we try to find some meaning in that verse. You Mm -hmm. know, it's very easy for someone who has read the Bible to tell you, here's the, paraphrased. Right. Be good. Jesus is God. Be on your way and and live a fruitful life. Mm -hmm. But you don't get a lot of these little verses that you might not normally hear. So we get those verses, which have a lot of meaning. And we just try to find what each word means. Yes. And slowly but surely, you know, look at us. We're, we're doing Bible study. Bible but study. In an enjoyable way. Not in like a circle kumbaya way. Right. Nothing's wrong with that. That's very fun. But this is something this that... It's casual. You might you're be interested just, you're in... You're hanging out with the boys in five hats. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. And Frank. And Frank. And the crow and the crow <sighs> and Darth Vader. And so... We're just going to get into it. We're going to break it down sentence by sentence, word by word, line by line. I always mix those twos up because lines come before the words. Before words. Sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, letter by letter. Right. Let's get into it. So today we are reading out of the book of... We are reading out of the book of Matthew. You're not supposed to say it. Oh, I right, started to do it again. No. No, do it again. Okay. So today we are reading out of the book of... Matthew. Matthew. Ever heard of it? I have heard Matthew, of it. Matthew, the, the the initial story of of yeah the New Testament. The first, the first guy you talk about when you say Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yeah, number one. Yeah. So we are reading Matthew, ten one. Mm-hmm. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, we're reading <laughs> the backstory. Uh, you need to. This is why we should have gone paperless. Okay. We're reading Matthew 10, 40 to 42. <laughs> We're but, reading Matthew 10, 40 to 42. But just to tell you who's talking, that's why I put 10, 1. <laughs> okay. So do you want to give us the 10, 1 part? Um, Matthew 10 starts, the first line is uh, Jesus is sending out the 12 apostles. Okay. So the first verse is he bring he gathers the disciples and he is giving them instructions. You're going to go out. You're going you're gonna to heal and administer to the people. Um, and then second verse, he names the apostles. So if you're looking for, you know, it's like, who were really the apostles? You know, yeah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and yeah. then you try to figure it out. But so Matthew 10, 2 is going to have like the actual names. Yeah. That's the backstory of that chapter of Matthew 10. Okay. So now we are at Matthew 10, 40 to 42. Let us begin. <clears throat> Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. That's sweet, ain't it? That's Jesus talking. That's Jesus talking. (laughs) I know Jesus, and that's Jesus talking. <laughs> you only got to tell me who, told, who wrote that. That's Jesus talking. <laughs> that's, awesome. That's Jesus. Okay, so he, that's one of the part, you know, if you read the whole chapter, you'll read 
you'll hear more of what he was telling the apostles yeah on that instruction um seminar all right let's walk through it mm-hmm. i mean what what else can we do but walk through it so first of all i like it um it's it always it's this referring back to jesus is in us yes and so the way you treat someone is the way you treat you know, or treating Jesus. And so if you're welcome. Right. If if you show love to someone, you're showing love to Jesus, right? Yes. All right. Well, that's just my little overview. Now let's get into it. Okay. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. God. God. So it, it all it all goes, like, it goes back in that lineage, right? Right. Like, or in that order. So when you are being welcomed by someone... They are welcoming Jesus in their hearts, right? But and, and, and then, like, so th- that's the confusion, right? Where it's like, Jesus is God, right? So He's welcoming the one who sent me, and this is this is like hard for us to, oh, the Trinity, like, make it make sense, right? But we can't. We're earthly and and silly. But this is what I take from it, always. It's because it's some. Um, that is sort of like, like what what my where like these kind of verses are where my beliefs stand of like we are all every human being is God's child right and everyone can be with God yes. no, no matter like, even if they're not agreeing of the same thing right and that's sort of the order and so what is God God is love right and so it's like even if they 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 so we believe in Jesus because Jesus is god right and, it's like, and god is the, the essence of, of love and creation and all right. that and so when someone is believing in love they're believe they are they were welcomed by the one who sent me and it's like well that is you it's like exactly you get what i'm saying no i do because if you see jesus as an expression of god's love yeah which it was you know to connect with us so anyone who who welcomes you welcomes love yes and anyone who welcomes love you're welcoming God. Yes. So it's, of course, God and love are the same. Jesus and God are the same. Jesus, God and love are the same. Yeah. But it's like um, breaking it down for you in yeah. a way like we talked about so many times and people get, um, well, no, I'm not religious or no, I don't believe in this or that. And it's like, it's literally breaking it down the way you want it to break it down, yeah. which was yes. anyone who welcomes you and welcomes this, love. Yeah. It's just person. You're being it's like loving, Jesus. right? If you're yes. being loving, you're welcoming God. So jesus is talking to disciples here who at that time there's there's all sorts of people there's um idolaters you know like different religions people worshiping everything and nothing and so it's like well how are we going to know who to talk to or who you know is welcoming or who is who friend or foe if if they are welcoming love then they're welcoming me therefore they're welcoming god yeah well and yeah and exactly and and look at it like that right like where is this not saying what we always say, which is when you or when when you show love to your neighbor? <laughs> Damn devil again! So I feel like you're adjusting because it. I feel it going. Just balance, you know, when okay. you hold a broom. On I your know. Hand? I I need my my posture classes. Go ahead. Sorry. Was... So so people who you know like are, are kind of um, conservative orthodox christians mm-hmm. in certain churches will say like anytime you say i believe anyone can go to heaven yes and they'll say it says right here um how do you get the gates to heaven you have to follow me right if you use this as an example and this is what i meant when i like oh well, reading the whole bible i got you see these overarching themes anyone who welcomes you welcomes me and anyone who welcomes me welcomes one who sent me right now change that so how do you get to heaven you have to follow me mm-hmm. anyone who or anyone who or follows like my path follows me. Anyone who follows me follows. Like right. it's that same kind of transition of it, it, the first step is treating others with with love and stuff. And it's like anyone right. who does that is accepting me. Right. And anyway, so it's like, what's more important? It's like, oh, no one's going to follow you. They're going to follow me, and right. only people who follow me. It's like as soon as they welcome you, they already welcome yes. me. Yes. All right, moving on. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's award. Mm. Now, that's what I'm a little confused about. Okay. So, I think that um, 
we always, and I, I've heard people say this, you know, like, I want to be meaningful. I want to be important. I want to make a difference. I want, and I tell people sometimes, you know, sometimes you don't have to be the person who is um, being the savior, parting the sea, feeding the, oh, feeding the throngs. Yes. If you are kind to that person, supportive to that person, you know, um, in any way, giving good energy to that person, you are, you will reap the rewards of the person. Yes. Of what they're doing. Of, yes. you know, like, so everybody wants to be the one who, who, who uh, starts the charity or whatever, but like, am I right? Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense, actually. It, it's like, and it doesn't stop them from like the pedals to their own, but it's like you you are reaping what yes uh, Harriet Tubman yeah you know, was she right. not the righteous person and it's like anyone who welcomed her you're right received, like, that's was, a great was, example like, she was putting her 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 you know, like back on the line and we still remember to her to this day right even talk about putting her on currency right she is the righteous person yes and it's like at the time anyone who welcomed her was also doing you know was also right. working through god that's and, perfect and that. because the underground railroad we know was it so was many move different parts a series a series of houses and places mm. and barns and um pastures that were safe spots we don't have statues to those people or you know there might be sometimes that you'll remember this was a stop on the yeah. underground road but there's a lot of people that weren't remembered for it but according to this the people who helped her will get the reward that she got exactly and then which makes sense yes like, like especially on a and then that's what you want to do so it's not always like i need to be the one or else i'm not good enough it's right like, there there's, there's the reward is being given to the yes. righteous and anyone who welcomes the righteous yes well now i didn't understand that at first but now i do okay and if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple truly i tell you that person will certainly not lose their reward i'll let you go uh, i was gonna let you go <laughs> Um, I went last time. I know, but I'm a little confused. You seem to know it so well. I just know that there's so many times where he says, like, about the little children. We always talk yeah. about it. Always, always, always. And I don't think it really talk. I don't think it really means little children. I mean, well, he's talking about his disciples. They were grown men. <laughs> <laughs> well, the little ones. You know. Yeah. Um, well, I think that's what I mean. Yeah, I think he uses little ones in specific reference to the fact of. That's what they are to him. Like, like yeah. we are all his little ones. Right. It's like, and that's why you should see the same way you would help a little child out or like welcome a little child. Right. It's like if you care for another person. Um, and again, it's, it's, it's you don't have to have these 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 gigantic gestures. Yes. It doesn't have to be that you supplied them with a million dollars. Or you or, broke them out of jail or right. you're, you're willing to put your life on the line. Like, it's right. saying like if you have that compassion in your heart, that love in your heart, right. even like seeing someone and offering them water right you will like that that is yeah it's, the little it's, drummer boy the little drummer boy it's all it's all about that showing the love like yes if, if you have compassion in your heart if you have love in your heart you will have a reward because that's what it's all about right it's all it's all about being righteous being good yeah and having love um right and that you know the little drummer boy i i don't know if we ever established if that was a real bum, 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 that was a real story i have i i have no gift to give and um so he played a song and that was a gift yeah but that story always makes me think like it's really impressive to play an instrument what other people don't have a gift and how do we know he he might have sounded horrible he all they said is he had it well, i don't know the barump bum bum sounded pretty good really i think it's just a repetitive bum 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 it might have just been a bang 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 yeah it doesn't sound as good when you put it like that yeah um <laughs> but i think it's just um it's the widow's last coin. It's a couple of, it's a couple, well, I hate to say last coin because we talked about not giving all your stuff away, but it's just, just the, smallest, the gesture, smallest gesture, which doesn't even have to be monetary. Because you know what? It's not from externally. It's from the heart. Yes. That cup of water, it's not about, oh, that's, that was easy to give. It's the fact that you gave it. It's the fact that it came right. from your compassion, your heart, your love. Right. And they won't lose their reward. But guys, that is it for Walkthrough Thursday. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, throw it out. Drop a little like. <laughs> how about yeah. that? A like, a share, a save. A like, a share, a save. A uh, how you doing? Keep it moving. Thank you for watching. Hopefully there's no technical difficulties in this one. I know. We'll see. Go out and celebrate. Go um, eat a wiener. No. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> there, it's it's meat, extra meat Thursday. Extra meat Thursday. Okay.
So you can take that out. No. <laughs> We'll be back tomorrow for Dr. Seuss Friday. We're still reading from that book. You remember it. Six hats. Six hats. Yeah, six hats. All right. Peace, love, and prosperity. Um, Live long and prosper and all that. See ya.